Today, we're gonna talk about the Voliques, which is the very first Chinese-built car to race in lemons. Now, I have to admit, I don't even know if it's pronounced Voliques. Is it Voliques? Is it Voliex? Volex. 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 Like a Rolex made out of Vols. Volex. How do you know this? Well, look at this guy. He sells the things. He's a dealer. He must know how to say it, right? Представяме ви новата любов на Ани. Volex C10. Top цена. Top оборудване. So you're basing your idea of the correct pronunciation on a Bulgarian guy selling a Chinese SUV. Yes. That makes sense to me. Anyway, this is a 2012 Great Wall Motors Volex C20R. And the C20R, if you didn't know what it was, is about the most unremarkable car you've ever seen. Now, if you don't know anything about Chinese car companies because you're not Bulgarian, Great Wall Motors is the parent company of a several offshoots like Volex that offer economy cars and also builds pickup trucks under the extremely manly and probably not totally lost in translation Wingle brand. Yeah, and the Wingle brand replaced the now defunct So Cool brand. This is so cool. Okay, so Great Wall, they make cars in China. They actually make cars in other places, including Bulgaria. For Lemon's purposes, we love it all. We like anything built in between Germany and Japan on a map. Now the Volex C20R is, as you can probably tell from looking at it, easily confused with the Ford EcoSport. Ford EcoSport. Ford EcoSport. Ford EcoSport. The Ford EcoSport. Volex Z10. Or any of those nondescript American crossover SUVs. And as we said, it is in every way completely unremarkable for that. So the obvious question is, how did this Lemons Volex get here? Never sold commercially in the US, never passed emissions, never passed crash testing, so obviously there's some kind of story. Well, one of the big three in Detroit imported two of these to study. We can't say which one of those big three it was, of course, but an astute observer will notice similarities between the Volex C20R and say, I don't know, a Buick Encore. Sir, it's been 17 months, but we finally got those two Volexes that we ordered from Wish.com? I told you to order them from Alibaba! You're fired! Oh. When this unnamed American company was done evaluating these two Volexes, they sent them to a junkyard to be dismantled. That's what car companies do. But instead of dismantling it, the scrapper instead said, hey, this car's still good. He glued some Ford badges on it, registered it for the street in Michigan, and daily drove it for five years around Detroit. After five years of driving it around in Detroit, it got hella rusty. And so the scrapper did what any intelligent scrapper would have done. Uh, scrap it? No, no. He decided to sell it. And of course, who sees it in the classifieds but a Lemons team? It's up there for a couple thousand bucks, but guess what? It's a lemons loophole. We've got a budget exemption for any Voliques. Knock yourself out. It takes him a couple years before he starts building it for lemons and parts for Great Wall Motors vehicles, it turns out, are pretty hard to find and have little in common with anything else. There were some standard electronical components they could use from Bosch in the wiring loom, but otherwise everything else had to have been ordered from China including a set of brake pads from Alibaba. In other words, if anything broke, they were totally hosed because the nearest parts were 7,000 miles away. So according to the internet, the engine in this Volex is a license-built copy of a Mitsubishi engine, but the Lemons team swears that it's a license-built copy of a Toyota Yaris engine. The important thing is that the engine is license-built. So this licensed built engine makes about 105 horsepower. And because the car is a modern-ish design, it also weighs something like 3,000 pounds. That's the kind of power to weight ratio that real racers will treat with a lot of scorn. But it'll also score you some admiration among Lemon's aficionados. A 
amazingly, it turned out that these Chinese folks screwed together this bowl leaks pretty well. It took the abuse of its debut race weekend without any major problems. Despite operating without a safety net, because they couldn't go down to AutoZone to get spare parts, totally paid off. They won Class C in their first race with a 14th overall finish. In other words, we learned that a modernish compact car will beat the ever-loving crap out of 30-year-old BMWs. You win, but beware. We Germans aren't all smiles and sunshine. And of course, that result is based on being steady, which is the most important thing in Lemons. Performance-wise, it's completely gutless. The brakes were horrible. They said that it handled okay, but it's not a very good car. It just didn't break. There you have it. The Volex is almost certain to become the next car to have in Lemons. So the only remaining question is, who is going to be the first Lemons team to bring a Great Wall Motors Wingle?